Just uh, at Tacoma Motorsports, at Cole Edmonds. Boom. Um, For any work, DM you on yeah, Tacoma. Yeah, just hit me up on Instagram. Yeah. So we, uh, we've been trying to make this video for a while. He built this contraption that will I'll, let, I'll sure. let him get into this and we'll, I'm gonna kind of take you off the tripod and walk around it. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. All right guys, so I got you off the tripod now. I got you in vlog mode. We're gonna walk around the whole thing. Like I said, we're here at Tacoma Motorsports in this beast of a shop. I love this place every time I come here. We got Mikey's truck right there. They're <laughs> working on that pile. Yes. So go ahead and just let us know what the deal is with this thing. Yeah, so this is uh, this is actually a 2016 uh, Turbo Razor. I believe it's the Turbo EPS. Um, let's kind of get into why. Uh, last year on New Year's, uh, this car was involved in a head-on collision with a buggy and basically totaled the entire thing. So uh, I kind of got it back to the shop, assessed the damage, and uh, kind of went from there. So this started off its life as a two-seater, you know, stock turbo razor and kind of uh, evolved into this. So it's got, uh, it has no more like factory razor chassis underneath it. Um, I basically took the drivetrain and the suspension from a razor and built the chassis uh, kind of around the bug body. So it's got, uh, this is all, you know, factory aftermarket long travel uh, razor control arms, uh, retains obviously the all wheel drive on the razor, uh, on demand all wheel drive. So it's still four wheel drive, uh, all factory razor geometry. Uh, these are uh, factory razor uh, bolt-on king coilovers, um, you know, factory intercooler, factory turbo, uh, a radiator, uh, all the hubs and everything, wheels, all that stuff is all factory razor. Um, I just kind of made it all work on this chassis. So, like I said, the front's just a long travel, uh, long travel razor setup, um, just like you'd see on any regular razor. A lot of people like to say that you just like threw a bug body. Yeah, on it. that's what that's a lot a of people are like. Oh, so you you took a razor and you put the bug body on it, but not really. Yeah, a little <laughs> more a in depth. Basically, aftermarket chassis underneath it, and it kind of it's more of just like a buggy with razor drivetrain on it, as opposed to being a razor with a bug body on it. Gets a lot so, of stairs. Yeah, so you can kind of move on to the yeah. interior over here. Paneling work, box it in, so it has kind of a sealed firewall up front. Um, Makes it look a little more like an actual like buggy. Yeah, so these are the seats out of the Razor, aftermarket uh, PRPs. Um, harnesses out of the Razor. You can kind of see it's got the, the Razor gauge cluster in here still, which actually fit you know, right in on that. Uh, this this is always things. cool because this is like it's I don't know I'm trying to you know people take like an old car and they'll put like a brand new Corvette yeah. and an old Corvette like yeah so the, all the valve covers that say it it's cool yeah the gauge cluster actually that's that's a factory hole right, right. there in the and he's got the yeah. Volkswagen dash so yeah, yeah this four wheel drive yeah, uh, we're driving along, along and click it into four wheel factory billet shifter from the Razor so obviously uh, Razor's a one speed transmission. Just click it all the way into high gear and go. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, rugged radios, car to car, uh, person to person, aux cord, um, you know, the factory key for the razor setup. So everything works as factory. You know, you got all your gauges, your voltages. Just cool seeing mileage. that in this thing. Yeah. So everything everything works as it should. RPM. Um, what else in here? So this tunnel in here. Uh, all the coolant lines come through this tunnel. So obviously the radiator in the front, motor in the back, coolant lines and drive shaft.
come all through this tunnel, so that's all boxed in. Uh, factory Razor pedal assemblies, uh, electronic steering from the Razor, so all that stuff works like a factory Razor would. Yeah, so all, all aftermarket cage. Um, you can kind of tell by the floor layout that it's not on a Razor chassis whatsoever. There's a lot of I'm getting all the all tube the, work up there. Though. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the tube work for all the guys that I'm yeah. sure are really interested in trying to see all that. Yeah, so it's all it's mainly inch and a half, some inch and a quarter, uh, all chromoly. And then uh, factory fuel cell in the factory location, actually, which was cool. So all that stuff works as proper. I get a fuel gauge reading here, uh, which is nice. A lot of off-road cars don't have fuel gauges. So it's kind of cool to be able to tell, you know, how much right. fuel you got. And back here, you just keep a spare belt. Of um, course, <laughs> gotta have those. Yeah, on you there. know, factory air box back here, and then uh, obviously these razors like to catch on fire, so we right. keep two two uh, fire extinguishers on hand at all times. Of course, belt and fire extinguisher—that's like a razor starter kit. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, major thing is having a windshield in this thing. Yeah. You, know, you didn't most, have that when we went I didn't, right? yeah, the first yeah. time. That's a kind of a new addition, and it's the best thing ever. Yeah. And so the other cool thing about this is I did make the, the, the whole bug body does bolt onto the chassis. So about an hour worth of work, and you can have this body up and off the chassis. and uh, Which is cool. Kind of get in there to work on it if you needed to. M most things are accessible without the body off, but I believe to remove the motor, you would have to take the body off. So it just kind of made it nice to uh, right. take it off. And the body is a, uh, it's a 66, um, and it's all clear coated. So yeah. it all has a satin clear coat on it. So. This body, I was really, really happy when he picked it. Everyone in our <laughs> chat was stoked yeah. about it because the body just, it was perfect. Yeah, it has, a, it has a great patina on it. Super and nice It's 100% rust free too, which yeah. is cool. Like all this surface rust, there's right. absolutely no rot to the car yeah, anywhere. It's, it's, it's exactly, if you were going to get a patina body, yeah. this is like the body to get. And the color, the green is always looks yeah. cool with the rust. Yeah, so that's all the sealed in. Rust. That'll never, never rust more. You know, it'll so always it'll be, look like this. Yeah, dialed for that. And then uh, super cool. we just got these like aluminum uh, rear fenders that I made just to give it kind of a better look. Line X, the these back. for air? I yeah, guess, so these look. these right here are not just for looks. This is a functional air scoop. So if you look in there, that scoops air directly into the intake for the air box. So functionality. Uh, that's functioning. The other side will do uh, air directly for the belt. That's what's so cool that's about the off-road world. It's actually everything people do is functional. Yeah, so I kept all that stuff <laughs> functional. Um, got our antenna on the roof so I can go car to car with people. And uh, yeah, wear headsets in this thing. Um, typically wear a helmet and a razor uh, by law in California. Uh, but since this is so far away from being a razor, I'm able to get away with wearing headsets. Super cool looking car. When we did go out to the desert, the first time uh, we went out, or I went, was that the first time we went out? That no. was the first time. Yeah, this thing it, went was, out. it was, it was, it was. We went out and the thing got non-stop attention. Yeah. Remember the every spot we and went to. It was kind to, of in the raw form then too. Right. It was super. It didn't really look all that much like this. It had none of the none of the aluminum accessories like that. It was kind of just the raw. That was literally your first rip out of the car. Look, yeah. So moving back here, uh, again, the HCR long travel uh, rear arms on this. Um, and luckily enough, this stuff all came with uh, the, the Razor that, that was crashed. So uh, all the rear stuff was intact. Uh, the bolt-on uh, IBP Kings for the rear factory Razor kind of set up. Uh, you can see back here there with the thin resis on these ones. So kind of like Gucci shock package. Gu Gucci these. shock package. Yeah. Yep, and you can see obviously we got our, our motor back here. It's a two cylinder, 999cc. Too fast for uh, the desert. Yeah, turbocharged motor. So I think Same they balls. put down around 150 horsepower. I think you can get around 170 with a Didn't tune. you say this one? Yeah, this one was Yeah, this one this one is tuned. I think it's on a stage one or a stage two. So the ECU has been flashed on this one. So right. it's, I mean, it does 88 miles an hour, which is plenty scary for something like this. Yeah, then I get a lot of questions on the back of the car. Like, what's, what's in here? 
Uh, so typically on a regular buggy, this would be where the motor is. Um, and to be honest with you, for right now, this is kind of just for looks. Right. It would it'd look a little goofy if I ended the car right here. Which is how when you see the guys that just drop a body on a razor. Yeah, so there are, there are guys that do just drop a body on yeah. a razor and it looks short mm -hmm. and kind of... It looks exactly like what he did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not, not the look you're going for. So the other thing on this is this car started off as a, a two-seater. So uh, a two-seater is a 90-inch wheelbase. And so when I did the conversion to make it look right, since I was building a chassis anyway, we went ahead and stretched it so that it's now uh, a four-seater wheelbase, which is, I believe, 117 inches center tire to center tire. So that's why it doesn't look, when you see people do these conversions, it looks super compressed, right. and this looks proportionate. Big time. Like when you see this thing sitting here, it looks super Yeah, it looks, it looks right. Yeah, it looks really, really, really good. Everybody wants it, just nobody wants to pay for it. Yeah. It's for sale, that's by for the sale. way, if anyone's for watching sale, this yeah. thing. Yeah, really well-built car, as you can see, it's built in this shop. and. Yeah. It is for sale. All chromoly chassis, all the goodies. Super, super cool build though. Check it just, out the exhaust over here. Yeah, it's just something you never see. That's what I love about this. That's yeah. what other people love about this. Is every time it went out, everyone hears it start up, but they see it and yeah. they're like, "Wait a second, you know what? It sounds like a razor, but yeah. it doesn't look like one." So since it is a turbo, I wanted to hear turbo noises out of it. So nice. we got the exhaust coming straight out of the turbo into this little flex here, straight into you know the world's tiniest little muffler <laughs> it's like a six inch muffler and then it just dumps does straight it out the back anything no all? yeah so it does it makes good turbo noise does it start right now like that oh yeah yeah, yeah we'll fire it up yeah, I was gonna say, well. and then i mean other than that it's just got you know fuel fuel simulated beadlock are wheels 30s, were they? these are, are they? 30s, 30s so pretty small. tiny tire That's um right. i'd like to bump up to 33s or 32s but yeah for right now these work good these 30s yeah yeah these came on these came on the on the razor that was crashed so i did try to use as much of the factory stuff as possible so that way you know if you're out at glamis or whatever you can get a part for a razor you right. know you're not looking at a spe especially part specialty part that you want to get at like car tech or something like this is all stuff that they'll be selling at vendor or whatever right and so it's you know all stuff that people that have razors keep on hand i think that's what's so cool about the build too is like yeah. what we were talking about before you get the reliability of yeah. having a razor but yeah, you're not so getting all the headaches of something like i mean just look at like this a, like a buggy or free a runners yeah. and like this thing works like a razor right. like every time it needs an it needs an oil change and mm -hmm. you need to kick the tire to make sure you got air and right. it's it's ready to go it I starts mean. up first crank yeah and i've never I've never even had to work on it out in the desert. Like right. we've done probably four or five trips now with, you know, without a single problem. We take it out, get it back to the shop, and do, you know, some more aesthetic stuff to it. But other than that, it's yeah. They recently added dialed and turnkey these, all this stuff. Go we'll fire up for you. Yeah, I'll be back here. Such a cool looking car. Yeah, it, because it's it, got it, that slap sound. Because it's, it's a two-cylinder. Uh-huh. It's, I mean, you know, it's a... That's funny. That, that right when you said that, I was like, dude, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, so you know a, how they have that almost slapping like yeah. that? It's like, it's a two-cylinder, uh -huh. one liter. Yeah. So... <laughs> it sounds different. It's It has to be because the shorter exhaust, but it sounds different than a normal Razor. Yeah. Kind of. It's got that... Yeah. It's got a little deeper sound to it. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, other than that, the motor is stock. I put a... Uh, like an aftermarket blow off valve on it but other than that the motor's stock just running the stock filter on it uh and it's been reliable we'll just do oil changes and that's kind of about it plenty plenty of power oh yeah i don't really seek any more power out of this thing and then the, i think the only thing i forgot to mention about the interior i set it up um, i set it up so that i'll hop in here and show you so 
I set it up so that, you know, someone of any size could, could drive this thing. So, like, I sit all the way forward, a short dude. Right. Hit the pedals perfect, hit the wheel perfect. Um, but it is on a slider, and it it slides a lot. Like, right. I can't even reach the yeah, pedals. So. Like so I could drive it or something. Yeah, and I mean, I've had, you That's know, cool. someone 6'3", six, 6'4", yeah. six, in here, and they don't even need the seat all the way back. Right. So it's... And usually that you like in trucks are bolted straight. To the yeah, side. so it's nice that like yeah. you know a chick could drive it or you know a, a tall dude can drive it. And obviously, huge headroom. Yeah. You know, which is kind of uncommon in a bug. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like, not exactly these are what you're thinking these about. are really narrow, tiny cars. Yeah. And the seats, you know, are almost touching in the middle. But mm -hmm. I mean, other than that, it's kind of nice. You're sitting here driving and then yeah. hop out. You just slide your seat back, mm -hmm. pull the wheel off, and you're off. Yeah. Easy to get out of. Easy to get out of, easy to get into. Um, I mean, other than that, just kept it as factory as possible with location of things. What's cool is having the year that the bug body that he chose, it is pre-smog. Pre right, yeah. So 66. being pre-smog is pretty helpful where we are. Yeah. So, so this... Cool. Uh, so technically you could drive it on the street. I yeah, guess. I just... Uh, I could register the, the body and get a plate for this thing and it would be... Right. Street legal. I guess. The most craziest street uh, legal vehicle. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'm sure I'd get arrested if I drove this <laughs> thing on the street, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I just, I love this thing, man. Just yeah. got such a cool blend factor of two different kind of things in one. It's just cool. Yeah. I mean, there's little details like it needs exterior door handles. Right. Um, just been kind of reaching in and popping the door open. Uh, no side windows. I mean, eh. it's not technically a sealed cab anyway, so you roll the windows up, you're still going to have dust yeah. and stuff coming in here. I mean, That's the thing that's saving you from the most, the windshield. Yeah, the windshield's cool because yeah. you don't need to wear glasses or goggles with mm -hmm. it or uh, you know a helmet with a visor down, which is cool. Yeah, I forgot goggles that one ride we went on. It was a night. Yeah, yeah. You, I was sandblasting. You got to have goggles. Yeah. You got to have something, so... Yeah, other than that, it's just got it's got a full skid plate all the way underneath the car, goes all the way under the floor, all the way back to the under the motor and transmission, so it's protected. What was your timeline on this thing again? I can't even remember oh, from man. getting so, it. I mean, he's busy. He's got other stuff going on too. But I picked up picked up this body. Uh, I want to say August thirtieth, so the very end of August. And that's kind of when the build started. So picked up the body August 30th, and this went on its first trip for Halloween. Yeah, because yeah, you picked up the body when I was in Washington. Yeah. Right? So I, got, I remember seeing the Snapchats. August like, 30th yeah. to, uh, no, it was probably like, what, October 30th. Mm -hmm. So. While doing like yeah, a lot two, of other things. Two-ish months yeah. after hours, you know, full tube chassis. And we can insert some pictures of uh, yeah, definitely. how the car was before. Yeah, you know, I was going to say. It was a Razor, uh, how the car looked crashed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I got pictures of how the car looks without the body on it. Because right. it's technically, uh, you could take the body off and drive the car as With a skeleton. Frame. Yeah, as a skeleton buggy. And, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, how does it do with the extra weight of the body? And, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's no different. It this, felt like it was this body. Fast. I mean, me and you, we can we can lift it off. Yeah, it's the body probably weighs two hundred pounds. You know, probably a little bit more with the windshield in mm -hmm. it. But and it's not like you're like oh a thousand's just fast enough. It's yeah, no, plenty I mean, fast it, as it. These these cars are very fast. It's I scary. Mean, probably faster than they should be. Yeah, <laughs> well, for the from how they come, from what you said, yeah, they're too fast. And obviously, we have a lot more tube work. If you look at this the skeleton of a uh, lot more protection factory razor, yeah. Yeah, because the, the car actually took its impact uh, on the front side and ended up caving in my entire firewall and where my feet were sitting. So I uh, made sure that this was a very strong portion of the car, you know, so that if anything were to happen, it's not going to come take your feet right. off when you get in a crash. So When I was coming over here yeah. while he was kind of doing stuff, he was showing me the, all, like the, how the stock Razor kind of was. It is a little sketchy on some areas. Yeah. Some of the tubing's thin. Um, yeah, just the way they come with no doors, pretty much from the factory, and they're just yeah, it's a little, it's little yeah, a little scary. The other thing was on the on the razor seats are uh, 
mounted to plastic, actually. Really? Yeah, they, and they're not bolted down, they clip in. <laughs> and so, that's what's nice about this, is I have the seat solid mounted to the right. cage. So it's, I mean, the seat doesn't, it's not going So you anywhere. just made the bracket for it to slide on, you made it? I, I got a slider from Cartex for like gotcha. 60 bucks, and then gotcha. that, you know, it bolts to the seat, mm -hmm. and the seat bolts to the cage. So it's all, all tied in, all tied together. And the patina, like I said, just makes the car too. It gives it that yeah. like Mad Max buggy look. It's just cool. Yeah, I couldn't bring myself to paint this thing. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> we'll throw up a picture of how it looked before, like like he was saying, crash or in in its form, like stock as a razor. And then when the accident happened to the now, I'll throw those pictures up right here. Yeah, I then mean, we'll throw up some pictures of this out, you know, because it's hard to see yeah. it in the shop as much as it is when it's out in the open. So we'll throw up some after pictures too. Yeah, but sure. pretty pretty cool build, man. Cole, he's been on my YouTube many times. I'm sure you guys know him already. This guy's <laughs> always got bangers. He's always building something crazy. He's always yeah. and he'll he'll do it. He'll act like it's no big deal, and then like a month later, there's like some crazy thing rolling out of the shop. Yeah. So like if you've seen the Red Rocket video of his pre runner. That thing was like a nine day kind of budget fun build. And then now before you know it, I didn't even know what was going on and the thing's torn apart and he's back half in it and yeah. all the crazy cool stuff. So yeah, that's cool. So look forward to videos on that out as well. And um, yeah, we want to do a video of the shop at some point too. We got a bunch of stuff planned. Probably but, clean it up a little when Mikey's not making a disaster. Over yeah, this guy with his 7.3 yeah. clacking along. Making a mess, mm -hmm. you know how it is. But we really wanted to get this done because it is for sale and in case this thing's sold, you yeah. know, we really wanted to make sure we got a video of this thing because it's it's a one of a kind car, it really is. Yeah. This is not something you yeah, can you go and find. I won't see another one. No. Sure. Still fits in the toy hauler too. Which is super not which awesome. is so needed. Just, just like a razor, you know. Right. Put it in your toy hauler and go. Yeah, like I said, when we went out to the desert, we were getting he was grabbing all the clout out there. Yeah. You were it was non stop. We couldn't even go to like any of the famous spots devil slide and all that without people yeah. people wanting to know what the deal is with the thing because yeah, exactly. it's pretty cool yeah that's pretty much what we want to do we want to get a video of it so appreciate y'all watching drop a subscribe thumbs up if you got any questions about it drop it down below i won't be able to answer it but i usually text him i'm like hey this guy wants yeah. to know this or blah 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 because there's always dudes wanting to know what's going on with it so thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video peace peace out